All right, what's up, guys? It's Blizzard here, and today in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the all new Treasure Quest Spring update, and let's get straight into it. So, if you guys have not already, be sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, guys, because we're going to try to get as much content as we can. And if you also have not already, be sure to check out my most recent video where we explain how to unlock this i tried to post it as soon as the update came out so that way you guys were able to know where to find all of these eggs and how to actually get inside this and then there's a secret cosmetic so yeah if you want to go check that out go watch my most recent video other than that let's get straight into it so if you guys want to see for yourself all the in detail stuff we got all of these new updates we've got like a new dungeon or technically a new boss we've got new items uh a new shop a lot of quality of life life things and then a ton of egg related stuff so spring related stuff so now a lot of people have been asking or just are probably questioning is treasure quest somehow involved with the whole metaverse thing going on the whole metaverse event in roblox and the answer is yes but not till i believe may 6 i could be wrong i think i'm right though um and that is when uh, honestly, I don't know what to expect. I don't know how they implement this kind of stuff. I haven't played any of the metaverse events yet, but again, you will be able to get some sort of item that's, that's I, I don't know, it's like a Roblox thing um, in this game. And we'll go over that as soon as it comes out about like two weeks from now. But in the meantime, again, we're just going to go over the new stuff in this update. So first things first, yes, they added eggs and a ton of new items. We've got two new packs right here. As you can see, we got the pastel pack. That's looking pretty cool. And then the egg pack, I really like the sword on this one and the staff, actually. I like both of them, but I'm really liking this egg pack more. So I think we're going to have to buy both of them at some point, maybe even in this video if we get to that point. We got the egg rain or a typical currency rain when any event happens. And then we also, before we go into the shop, there is also a new, a really cool, in my opinion, too, um, new ultimate for the wheel. That looks like some sort of double axe on both sides, so that's looking really, really cool. And then we also can go over here, and there's an entirely new shop. Now, this time, you aren't only able to buy items and effects, but you can also buy scrolls and potions, which is something that's really cool. I know a lot of people probably wanted since these are usually only bought with Robux. But yeah, we're going to be buying some of these items. Uh, we're going to buy... Actually, let's just go ahead and buy some eggs right now, right off the bat. We'll buy like 4K. Buy 4,000 eggs, as you guys can see. And we've got quite... The bit. So the, I want to get one of these two because they look really cool. I don't know whether to get the blue or the pink because, again, both of them look actually absolutely amazing. I want to get one of these sits, sites, whatever you want to call them, and then a spring cannon because I have no idea what to expect. I don't know if it shoots out something. I've heard a lot about this. Actually, I haven't heard a lot about this. Sorry. I've seen a lot of like screenshots with people in their hands and it's literally like you're holding a cannon so we're going to show you guys that in this video before we actually buy those items i want to go ahead and say that there is also two new badges i believe and also some new craftables that you can get so if you go over you go over to this area right over here where it says crafting where the anvil is you can press this book and as you can see these are the two new ones we've got like a double scythe which I believe you need both of them, which we te could technically craft in this video, but we might wait for that. And then this, this rainbow sunflower, and then this like sort of staff mage looking weapon, which looks pretty cool. Golden XP rewards were also increased for higher difficulties. Um, gold rewards from monsters have been tripled and a lot of, again, as I say, quality of life things. But we're gonna go ahead here and I know a lot of you guys wanna see this content of us buying items and stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and do that for you. First thing we're gonna buy is the spring cannon. I know it looks pretty cool. So we're gonna go ahead and buy that right off the bat. I mean, it looks like a very beautiful weapon, a very pretty weapon. Apparently there's also something called the sunset cannon too. I could be wrong, but I believe that's in the new dungeon, which we will show you guys typically usually at the very end of the video so i think if we go in the chat it's gonna look like yeah we bought a bunch of stuff and so we're gonna go over here into our inventory which looks like we've got a lot of stuff going on and actually we can just go to weapons and make things a lot easier and there we go they're at the top this time so let's go actually we'll lead up to the cannon this one we got a 4.7 that's not very good that's okay though because the weapon looks cool 5.39 5.87 random 
Is that a new effect? I don't know if that's... I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> and then, of course, the spring cannon is a 6.18144, but we're only going to pay attention to the 6.18 thing. So that is awesome. We're going to go ahead and take off both of these weapons so you guys can see a little bit of a better view. Hopefully, we can get some free area over here. Oh my gosh, you're literally holding a cannon. <laughs> that is huge. Wait, I thought it was going to shoot something off for some reason. Like, I had this... I don't know why I thought I was going to shoot something off. I mean, well, I mean, I know why, because it's a cannon, but hold on. That looks sick. That looks super cool. Okay. This is probably, again, one of my favorite weapons in this update so far. I haven't seen any of the, um... Oh, that looks so nice together. That looks so nice. Oh, okay. This one looks cool, too. It's kind of what I was expecting, to be honest. But let's take a look and use our ability. If it looks any cooler. That's cool. Okay, that's pretty cool. But anyway, yes, this is super cool. Super excited to show off these weapons in the dungeon, which we are going to finally go in now. Which, actually, I'm so tempted to buy these guys. So tempted to buy these two packs right here, because they really do look good. Which, speaking of, I'm going to show you guys the dungeon right now. It's like a coliseum. That looks really cool. I feel like they should add some sort of medieval map. Like, in the future, this is just for future reference, like, like, some sign of, like, Egypt, not like, not like an actual, I don't know how to put it, like, more Roman, like this, than, uh, I was gonna say Egypt, but that's two completely different things, like a Roman base map. Sha I really like this guy's name, Shaquille Oatmeal, <laughs> that's, that's awesome. That's gotta be the mo one of the most creative names I've went by, so, shout out to this guy, just cause he has a really cool name, Shaquille <laughs> Instead of a Shaquille O'Neal, it's Shaquille O'Neal. And as you can see, this is like really, really cool. They have like a whole terrain, not only just the Coliseum. So you have this little enter area. And then as you guys can see, I don't know if you can go out here. No, you can't. Um, but there's a lot of stuff going on. There's like, we've got trees, we've got rivers. I wonder if there's any Easter eggs. But as you guys can see, we're going to go straight to the boss. I guess someone press start. And it's a level 23. I think that's because someone's a low level here. Oh, it's this guy. And then you can hit him a couple times. We're getting him down pretty easy. And then, as you guys can see, since we are in possible mode, we're getting a lot of items per thing. So I just got four items, two eggs, and XP. Uh, but I believe that's only with uh, a certain game pass. Because I have a plus one game pass, and then I also i am in possible mode, and then, yeah. Actually, before I end off the video, I have to tell you guys the codes. I'll probably put something in the description down below or the comment section of where the codes are because I always forget to put it at the start of the video. Shout out to Sensei for giving me these codes slightly early uh, because uh, they didn't put them on the, the, the Discord server yet, but they are open to the public. So the first one is actually going to be Happy Easter 2021. Even though it's a little bit after Easter at this point, that's completely fine. And that's going to give you a brand new XP potion. And then the other one is Lucky, Lucky, Lucky. And this is probably going to give you a Luck Potion based off the name. And yes, it does. But anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video or this video did help you out, be sure to leave a like and subscribe. And uh, stay tuned for more videos, live streams, and hopefully we can uh, buy some more stuff from the shop or get some really cool items from the dungeons. Who knows? what's in store. But other than that, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Over and out.